Hi, this is Squad Mat. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to show you how you can get uh, live prices for futures and options in Excel for pretty affordable prices from IQFeed. So IQFeed is pretty uh, useful um, API, uh, data API. I'm using it myself and so I'm not affiliated with them. Um, but I think it's pretty, pretty cool. So first let's research what is IQFeed. So IQFeed is a pretty cool service. You can uh, purchase it for your own or for your company. It allows you to create like on the like, user per user basis and it has quite a lot of inf useful information. So you can get like real time, you know, tick, uh, by tick data for, you know, like US, US exchanges, Canadian exchanges, basically North America exchanges. And also you can get, you know, some historical data as well. Um, I'm not sure how good the data is for it, but you can still can get it. So you can see you have 11 years of one minute um, data and also up to 80 years of daily data. So it's quite, quite impressive. So um, in terms of uh, pricing, so I think like the minimal uh, like our subscription is like 100 bucks, but to be honest, for, for to get live data for futures and options, that's not so much. And you can see here, you can uh, it works kind of a la carte. So you can see you have like two prices here, non-professional and professional. And uh, you know, we can see both prices and you can see it's not really crazy, right? So um, it's basically it just dozen bucks for every exchange and you can uh, pick and choose what do you actually want, you know, to do. So to start with um, IQ feed, you need to go to this like website and um, download one of the clients. So here I have Windows machines, so I downloaded like a IQ feed client uh, from uh, here. And as you can see, it's not very frequently updated. The last update was basically like a three years ago, but it still works for certain cases. For example, if you need data just in Excel, that's not a problem. You can download it and get it uh, for here, no problem, you know, at all. So when you install um, uh, this client uh, after that in your like Windows, you will find like a new folder IQ feed and you have um, almost like a dozen of different applications that you can use to um, go through the data they provided for you. So it's quite useful. Here I have like a watch list um, application opened and you can see here I put a couple of, you know, example of the data you can get. So for example, this is just a ticker for Apple. So this is a ticker for, you know, brand future um, on January 20. Uh, 25 and here is you know 100 call for the same future and um, so just for you to get you know like the, the, the information you just need to know the ticker of your um, instrument you want to get and for that you just need to go to there is like a like a fit symbol search and here you can um, go and search for all the tickers you want so for example you can say okay I want to have you know brand future and then you get all kind of futures here and you can just um, come kind of like narrow this down to the exchange you want to have it from and also security to security type. So for example, I want only futures for now. And then you can see I already got this brand, um, you know, crude futures from ICE exchange. So I can use this ticker to get the data in the IQ feed. And if you want options, um, pretty much the same uh, thing. So here you just need to select future options and let's keep um, brand only. And then here you have some um, already futures, um, but let's say I want 100 call. Um, so here you can see uh, this is um, some options from NYMEX, but this is already um, options from um, the ICE exchange that I just uh, previously showed it to you. So as you can see, it's um, pretty uh, simple to get uh, to just to find you know tickers you want, and then you can put it into watch list and or in Excel, and I will show you in a minute how to do that. And um, so I'm, I'm recording this on Saturday, so you don't see that actually this, this is a ticking, but um, you know, you'll get, you know, live data uh, for it as well. And this, you'll see this uh, prices update kind of all the time. So now let's go and set up Excel to use IQ feed as a data source. So we'll click on uh, this, um, you know, folder for the file explorer. Then I will go to, um, you know, this computer, disk number C. Um, so then I will go to program files 
dtn like fit and um, here you should have like an excel file example that you can use so this is a sample dde uh, spreadsheet just open it so here's um, an example of um, how it actually works so you'll, you you can see there is um, you know some formulas here so next you need to enable this contact content click ok so it seems that it doesn't work uh, like that and the reason is that uh, we have adjust um, some uh, settings for excel so go to file then options then trust center click on trust center settings and here in the external content um, enable uh, these uh, two options then click ok then just ok again and now i think if we'll uh, refresh it it should work fine as you can see it seems to work fine for the example they um, gave us so we can update everything and um, it seems to work fine as i said i'm recording this on saturday so there is no ticking date but uh, in um other um in 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 the big days you will see this kind of prices to get updated so now take a let's take a look at the how it actually work was the formula for it so i will copy it again here and here it's just get the price for the stocks this cannot surprise us but we need for example futures and if you're subscribed in iq fit to futures so here you can just adjust your uh, formula accordingly so you can say okay i want to be abf 25 so this is brand january 25 um, future you click on it and here's your live price for uh, the for the brand and you can get all kind of other information from it you can see you have a change volume change in percent bid ask whatever so you can explore the computation of a QFIT and um, this actually um you know like works quite fine and the same uh, with um with options um that's easy as that just adding here that the call that we want so we we'll say call 100 and so here's our price for call 100 so as you can see it's really easy to um, work in excel with like feed um, i think technology is a bit outdated of course and i'm not a big fan of excel overall but i understand that's quite a lot of people need that so um, you can use like a feed to get live data to excel for futures or options quite easy and i encourage you to explore kind of this uh, file more you will get more kind of interesting um you know variables more interesting ways to uh to work with um with the Equifit, uh api and also if you have you know any issues you can go to this um you know spreadsheet like this kind of like uh, documentation pdf and just um, go through the steps needed and you know some uh, you know debugging you can do to uh, fix uh, this um you know to fix this connectivity and also in this document you will find all um, the um, fields that are available and you can see there are quite a lot so i think it can be useful for quite a lot of applications um, to get this kind of information and um so i think that's all for this video um thank you for watching see you next time